Midwood residents were startled out of their sleep by the sound of explosions and a sight both frightening and revolting. Three burning cars, the letters KKK painted on a van and swastikas on park benches. 18-year-old Bobby Tebele says the destroyed BMW in the middle belonged to his mother. That's what makes the chills run through is that not so much that the cars got blown up but that it was because of hate. Devastating, really devastating. It's a horrible thing, uh, especially it's a hate crime, so it's a horrible thing to see. The arson and vandalism in this heavily Jewish neighborhood was especially painful as it coincided with the 73rd anniversary of Kristallnacht, the night of broken glass when Nazis in Germany smashed windows in synagogues, Jewish homes and businesses. You know, we're all sort of gotten used to a swastika here and there, as horrible as that is. Uh, but this is a whole new dimension. It hurt me uh, very much. It's very bad. I don't know why they did it, but you know, it can't be that you just bored. It's much, much worse. Whoever was responsible left these Corona beer bottles behind. Police tagged them and removed parts of the graffiti benches. The destructive spree is under investigation as a hate crime, both sad and distressing. Very unnerving. We were very nervous. I have two small children. We consider the neighbor to be very safe. 